Oh yeah? Well, why don't you teach me? Fine, I will! God. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Albion tutorial series. My name is The Cheese Can, and I will be helping guide you through the world of Albion, a new MMO that was brought to you this year in July. Albion Online is a sandbox MMO, but I'm sure that you already know that if you're here to play the game. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it by creating a character. Everybody knows that to start a game, you're going to need your own character, and the customization options allow you to be a man or a female, and then you can pick your avatar. The avatar starts as a little preset character that you can play as, but you're going to be able to customize the options yourself. This coin is nothing more than your character's portrait, so you could actually select this portrait and then change the way your character looks from said portrait. So it's entirely up to you to pick how you want to look in the game. I'm going to go with this nice, rugged, handsome looking fellow there. And then, let's see here, make him look a little bit more like me. And there aren't a lot of variety to the different styles, but that's okay because you're just going to be wearing a helmet anyway. You're not, you're not going to see your face. Let's just do... Ooh, there you go. Nice cut, man. Oh, that's cool. You can even pick your underwear. I'm going to go with thong. Aw, oh, I'm disappointed. Alright, well... White. Yeah, I'm not a dirty fool. We're going to go with white. And I'm going to get started with cheese can. When you first start in the world of Albion, you're going to be dropped off on this dock, or there's going to be a cutscene for you if it's your very first time telling you that you're shipwrecked and you've found your way to this wonderful world. The world of Albion is broken up into these level 1 zones, and they go on from tier 1 to tier 2 to 3 all the way up to 7. But before you do that, you're going to follow the brief tutorial that Albion has set up for you. And the tutorial that they have is actually fairly nice. It's going to teach you how to craft, create items, and to get you started in the game. The tutorial system is all up in the right hand side. You can customize your HUD, but we won't get into that. We're going to gather three rough logs. Oh look, rough logs. Left click to interact with an object, and you're going to pat the tree and gently pull some logs from it. And as you gently pull the logs from it, it's going to pull the entire tree down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So we gathered those and we completed the destiny, so we've gathered the wood. Let's go get the rough stone next. We're going to have to find some stone. Oh look, some rocks. What is that? Rough stone. Alright, gently pat the rock. Ah, beautiful. Pat another one. Ah, look at that. We're on our way. We're going to craft the beginning Skinner's knife at a workbench. Hmm, workbench. Okay. Click on the workbench, just like you would with any other object. Find the beginner skinning knife, and you're going to left click on it. Down here you can see that to craft it, you need three rough logs, three rough stone. We already did gather that, so we're going to hit craft. Beautiful. Now we're ready to start skinning some toads. Let's kill any rabbit, marmot, or frog. Well. Yeah! That's what I call a well-placed backstab. Done. Look at that. Beautiful bones. I could eat the bones. Get the frog. Fro oh, look at that. Yeah. Now, uh, the funny thing is, oddly enough, each of these is going to give you two scraps of hide each, even though they're just tiny little toads. Oh, I lied. That one did give me one. There we go. Back to the workbench. We're going to click on armor this time because it wants us to craft a mercenary's beginner's jacket. So we're going to craft the beginner's jacket. Beautiful. Next, we're going to need to craft the beginner's broadsword in order to figure out what is required of you to craft the beginner's broadsword. You need to open up the workstation by clicking on it, go to weapons, and you can see that to craft the broadsword, we're going to need six rough stone and six rough logs. So back to the quarry to gather up our stone. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Let's go pat some trees. Come here, tree. Mmm. Such a lovely feeling. 
trees between your fingertips. Let's get this one too. You're looking quite lovely today. Oh, And one more. Excellent. With a rough stone and rough logs in hand, we can now go back to the crafting bench and we're going to make the sword. Back to the weapons tab, begin his broadsword, and craft. Done. Now the game is telling us to equip it. In order to equip something, you need to open up your inventory page, so you're going to hit I, the hotkey for the inventory. In order to equip it, you're going to right click on the item. Nice. Now we're looking like a soldier. With our newly equipped sword, it's telling us to select an ability on the beginner's broadsword. Each weapon in Albion comes with its own unique abilities. In order to select them, you need to left click on the weapon to bring up the tooltips. And when the tooltip is open, you see here that this item contains the spell Beginner Strike and Beginner Cleave. Each of these does its own unique things. The Beginner Strike deals physical damage to the target enemy, while the Beginner Cleave deals a damage to all of the enemies in close proximity. The spell is also bound to Q. Q is going to be the button that you press in order to cast this ability, so I'm going to select Cleave. Beautiful. We're going to use this ability on the target dummy. The target dummy is located here. We're going to walk up to it. And in order to start attacking, the default system is to left click one time. I've changed it to double click. You may also change it so that you can hit the space bar to select and attack the target that you have. So I have the target dummy selected and I can hit the space bar. My character automatically starts performing these basic attacks with the weapon. And so in order to use our ability, we need to hit Q. Mm, beautiful. Nice big cleave. I can feel all the toads dying before me. Yes, that's glorious. Now, the next step is to leave the island and go to the town. In your minimap down here, you can see that there is the signpost pointing that way, and if you're ever confused as to where you are, you also have the map, which is the hotkey M. Hotkey M shows us that we're at the Swamp Beachhead, and we're going to follow the path to the right to go down into the Swamp Outpost. Away we go. We're on the road again. Ah, finally, the swamp smells mm, quite delicious. Hmm. Well, now that we're in the next area, that is going to handle the very, very start of Albion. You know how to kill things by clicking on the enemy, you know how to gather materials, and you know how to craft. With all of those intact, you're going to start to perform another series of destinies or quests given to you by this gentleman here. We'll get into that in the next video, and until then, play all you can and study hard.